Hello fellow hams and YouTubers. I'm following up on my magnetic loop overview with my newest loop, a dual band 80 and 160 meter loop. It's quite large, the diameter is 6 feet, so I'm setting it up out here on my porch to show it to you. So let's have a look at the, uh, at the loop in its disassembled form. Okay, here's the base of the loop. It's a wooden base with some support legs because, as I said, it's quite large and unwieldy. There's our tuning capacitor. And you'll see I have some copper pipe there with a union, threaded union fitting. And on the other side. And then across the back, there's a long pipe with some fittings on it, and this will all be very clear once I put it together. And the coax is taped up the back to where we have the driven loop. That is the 3 uh, inch diameter soft copper pipe. The coax is soldered at this point here. And the camcorder is not going to focus. You get the idea. Up at the top of the uh, post, you'll see I have two more short pieces of copper pipe with threaded fittings. It was a lot of soldering, but you'll see how it all works here in a moment. So I'm going to set the camera on the tripod so you can watch me assemble the loop, and then we'll uh, talk about it. Okay, so here's the loop in its 80 meter configuration. As you can see, it's quick and easy to put together. I've got the threaded piece there. The main pipe comes up, bridges across at the top near the coupling loop, comes back around, and mounts at that side. Tuning is presently manual on this one. I've got my Yezu sitting here. And I don't think you can see that, but maybe. We're on uh, 3.724, the lower third, upper part of the lower third of the uh, 80 meter band. And I'll tune the capacitor and just listen for the noise. Right there. You heard the noise come up. We are tuned and good to operate on 80 meters. And it works quite well. I've made several contacts with it within my living room. Now, I'm going to reconfigure it. I'm going to show you it's a 160 meter configuration. And I do a, uh, do a thing here that I haven't seen anybody else do, and I don't know why, because it seems to work really well. So, here we go. Assembly for 160. Okay, so now we're assembled for 160 meters. You can see that we have basically two loops, but they are not parallel. All right, these are a little close, but there we go. They are not parallel. If we get up here to the top, you'll see that this one on the back comes around, and down here it crosses over to the front connects to here. This one on the back at the bottom comes up and crosses over to where it is at the front. So what we have is if you follow from here, from one side of the capacitor, up to here, and then we go around to the back down here, 
and then up and around again to the back up here and then down and it crosses over and back to the front so our outer loop is two turns that drops the uh, bandwidth down and on the radio again now I've switched the band I don't know if you can see that 1.95 up in the phone portion of 160 meters same deal I'm gonna tune it right there And believe me, it does work. With it in my living room, I've made contacts on 160 meters. So that, if I can even get back far enough to get the whole thing, is my 80 and the 160 meter magnetic loop. Quick and easy to tear apart for transport. Small enough to fit in my living room and it still let me work 160 meters. Thanks for watching.